All right, let's just roll past the makeup thing because I know you guys are gonna comment about it. I look inspired from my favorite animatronic, which I did a really bad job of. I look crazy, I know. What's wrong, Mike? Oh, I'm just a bit dizzy. No talking in class, boys. Michael, are you all right, dear? Yeah, I'm just feeling a bit dizzy, ma'am. Well, if you have a puking sensation, go to the washroom, my dear. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Okay, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe go off and, and do your things because it doesn't look so good. Class is about to end, where is he? Sam, could you please go check on Mike? Oh, yes, ma'am. Wait, oh my gosh, he was away the whole time? Oh, jeez. Uh, maybe get some help? Get, get some help? It, it's hard to breathe. Don't talk, it'll only make it worse. I need to get help. I'll get a teacher. Yes, run, run! Come on, Mike, you have to get up. And... stretching? No, that's a no then. I hadn't hurt this much before. What's happening to me? Uh, somebody, somebody go get help! Oh my gosh. It's not a great start to the school day. With the afterns, oh jeez. I'm sorry I haven't been spending much time with you and the kids. I was just so caught up in work that I forgot about everything else. It's alright dear, just make sure to spend time with them. What's wrong? Do you think Michael would forgive me for being a horrible father to him? I'm sure he will, he's still your son. And he told me yesterday that he believes you would change and that he loves you. Oh, so positive! Thank you, love. Daddy, your phone is ringing! Pick it up. Thank you, Lizzie. Uh, not, not a good thing? Oh no, oh no. Wait, what's happening? Oh no. We'll be right there. Michael's in the hospital. Uh, get dressed, we have to go, get, go, get dressed. This doesn't sound good. That is legit me. Whenever I'm a bit anxious or stressed or anything, I start pacing. Uh, how is he? I have some good news and I have some bad news. What's the bad news? He is very, very ill. But it isn't severe, so we can save him. Oh, right, well, that's a, that's a plus. Okay, great, great. Thank you so much. What did the doctor say? He's very, very ill. How about we just go see your brother? Mikey! I got full marks in my test today. Everyone in class said 2 plus 2 is 5. You said the same thing when I was teaching you, Ellie. Pfft, I don't know what you're on about. Oh, don't talk, it's clearly hurting you. I'm okay, Dad. Hey, Chris, Liz, can you both do something for me? Uh, okay. Take care of my Foxy plush and mask until I get home. My mask is in the room behind me, you can go get it. I'll get it, Mikey. Zaba. How do you feel, dear? I'm okay, Mum. They don't look convinced. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. They don't look convinced. M Mikey, you, you won't leave us, right? Of course not. I love you all too much to leave. Oh jeez. Oh look, he's got the plush and stuff. Come up here, you two. Oh. A few months passed and Michael started to get better. After six months, he was on his feet again and healthy. So the hospital thought it was safe to say he was okay and sent him home. Little did they know, Mike wasn't fully okay. Oh. Great. Oh, but look, he looks so much better. Ready to go home? Yeah. Well, let's go home then. Your siblings are really excited and hyper that they almost destroyed the house. So, you know, we better get back before they actually do destroy the house. And then we better go before they actually destroy it. I know, I just said that. I can predict the future. I'm fully aware that I look ridiculous, but I really don't care. If you like Circus Baby 2, maybe you should subscribe to this channel. He's home. Hi. Oh. Well, that didn't take long. It's good to see them finally getting along. Just because I was sick and nice doesn't mean to say I'm gonna stop picking on Chris. Why do you hate me, brother? I was joking, joking. <laughs> that was a mean joke. Kids, let your brother rest. He just got out of hospital. Okay, mummy. Everything was finally starting to get better for them. Michael got his spark back and the pizzerias were booming. <gasps> Pizza. Anyway, the Afton family and Emily family were billionaires. Everything was perfect until, of course, there's always a until part. Why'd you do this to me? Uh, wait, this is a Five Nights at Freddy's kind of gacha. I don't know what I expected, okay? It's not gonna be happy, is it? Somebody help him. Mikey, oh my gosh. Oh no, get help. Come on, Mike, this isn't funny. I'm so sorry, he's passed away. You may go see him. Oh my gosh, oh. He's a ghost. And he's got a halo. Oh, he was such a good brother. Ugh, my head. Why do I hear cry? Uh, 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 why is everybody crying? Oh, well, that's a predicament. Wait, no, can't be dead. Chris and Lizzie still need me. I don't want to be dead. Oh, are we in heaven now? Is this what heaven looks like? 
just white. That's it. It's just, just a ton of clouds. That's it. Hello, Michael. Don't be afraid. As you can tell, you're dead. But there is a bright side. Your family still needs you. And they'll be facing many problems after this. So you'll have to watch over them and protect them. And if you're lucky enough, you might just get another chance at life. But not as you expect. Oh, great. Okay. And like he was told, Michael watched over his family and friends. He was always there to protect them when they were in danger. Oh my gosh. Everything was going okay until something happened between the parents. Oh no, what? You're not even a real father. That's why he wouldn't listen to you. You always pretended he didn't exist. I mean, what kind of father does that? Oh my gosh, there's a lot happening here. I know I was horrible in the past, but at least I'm trying to change while you're still the same. But instead, you increase your work time and spend less time with our kids. Okay, this is, this is, uh, this is, oh my goodness, they're really burning each other. Jeez. I do it so I can earn money for the kids. We're billionaires, Clara. Okay. Oh no. After that, they fought every single day. Things were starting to go downhill again. And for this problem, Mike could do nothing. A few years passed and they finally split up. Clara took both Chris and Elizabeth, leaving William alone with no one. Oh, this is great. Great life. Three days had passed and William practically gave up on everything. But on the other hand, Clara, Chris and Elizabeth were living happily in their new house, but none of them forgot about Mike or Will. There's, there's some positives in this. I don't know for how long, but there is. They didn't have much money since Clara had lost her job, but just when they were about to run out of money, Clara found $10 billion in the one bag William gave her. She thought it was filled with his junk, so she didn't open it. But since they didn't have a lot, she was hoping to find at least something that would help them. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Everything was better for them now, and soon Clara found a job that paid her well because she couldn't stop thinking about William. Oh no. Months passed and William could only sit on the couch and think about how happy his family was without him. Oh my gosh. This is just getting worse. Of course, William was still building animatronics because that's how he earned his money. Now let's skip some time. Let's go. I'm very concerned right now. If only he could hear me. What if I, hmm, it might not work, but it's worth a shot. Wait, what, what are you gonna do? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I could be a worm. Yeah, <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. I'm too bored to even think straight. Wait, if my hair is this long, then I can pretend I'm a lady. <laughs> what is your process? Like, where is your mind thinking? Nah, that's just stupid. Look at them fingers. And I'm officially going crazy. Is there someone in my kitchen? Well, if it's a robber, I'll just kidnap them. Then I won't be so lonely. Oh yeah, that's, that's what you should be thinking of, William. You look so happy. Ooh, pizza. Did the robber seriously just make food and leave? Some robber they are. And they'd have to know. Should I read it? Eh, what's the worst that could happen? Hey, Dad. It's Michael. I've been watching you for a while and I'm really worried about you, Dad. Please take care of yourself. I don't think you'll be able to read a soul's letter, but it's worth a shot. You're probably staring at a blank piece of paper. Oh, well. Please eat the food I made. Okay, now he'll probably think that he's gone crazy. Oh, bless. Oh, is it? He's doing a little swimming. That was like the best bit. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. I know that Michael is still here, but I want to be able to hear him and talk to him. How will I do that, though? Oh, no. I can see where this is going. I have the perfect idea. It's probably not the perfect idea, but the idea I have might be worth a shot to try. A few weeks later, it took forever to redesign. I hope Mike doesn't mind the fact that I changed it from a girl to a boy. Nah, he's probably fine with that. Now i got to wait for him. Or is he here? Is that Funtime Foxy? Beautiful. Michael, if you're here, then go into this animatronic thing I made. I highly doubt this will work though. Uh, I better try or never stop complaining. Oh my gosh, is he? Oh, he's actually gonna do it? How do I go inside? Oh, that's, that's, that's hell. It worked. Isn't it supposed to be a girl animatronic? Nah, I changed it into a boy. It doesn't change the fact that it was originally a female animatronic. Did my ears and tail just move? Welcome to the new year where I learned how to make the ears and the tail of an animatronic move. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Can I keep the name Funtime Foxy though? I like it. Uh, sure. Now, I've installed an illusion disc in your program. It should allow you to turn into a human. If it doesn't work, then I just wasted a year of my life trying to make that. I'll try it. Just think of being human. Is it gonna work? Oh! Oh my gosh! I can't believe it actually worked. 
Don't cry, Dad, I'm here. I'm just so happy I caught my little boy back. I'm not little. You're 14, Mike. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't know if this will work, but try thinking of yourself older. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I'm a big boy! With the mind of a 14 year old. You have to perform in a few hours. So I can't go home now? I'll come pick you up at night. But then I have to wait with the animatronics till night? That's scary. No, oh, you'll be fine. Oh my gosh! That took forever! Before they wouldn't leave. Why don't you ever do what you're told? And what now? That sounds like one of the animatronics. I should go check out what's happening. Oh! Hello! Um, uh, animatronics, how you doing? This isn't weird at all! Aren't they supposed to be powered off? And how are they moving on their own? Who are you? Uh, hi! Can you be any louder? Come on, Ennard. Don't be mean. You look scared! Whatever. Okay, bye, Ennard. See you later. Sorry about him. Did I do something? No, he's just upset. Ever since they reopened Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, people just don't come here that often. And if more people don't start coming soon, they'll just take our place and use us for spare parts. But let's not talk about that! So what's your name? Funtime Foxy. But my real name is Michael Afton. As in, the dead son of William Afton? Yeah! Well then if you're here, there's no way William would take down the one place he'd be able to see his son. This is amazing! I'll have to tell Ennard. I'll go tell him. Um, Ennard? Oh hey, uh, sorry about what I did back there. So what's your name? I'm Funtime Foxy. My real name is Michael Afton. William's dead son. Yep. Can you turn human? Oh my god. You're small. I'm a human and you're an animatronic. What do you think? Come here so I can make you my level. Okay. Make me tall. Oh, or not. Now you're my level. What's wrong? I thought you wanted to be tall. You lifting me up does not make me tall. It makes me feel embarrassed. That's how I feel when people lift me up because I'm so short. What is he doing? I feel like something's happening here. Oh. Eh? You do know it's dangerous. That is right. I'm dead. Oh, well. Ah! I told you it was dangerous. Next time, listen to me. We'll see. But I like him. No, you don't. He's ugly. Oh, what? Oh, poor Ennard. What? Time to make him super angry. What? When I saw the blushing before, I thought, okay, there's something here. There is something here. What am I What am I seeing right now? What, you little? You're grounded. Where is it? No. Why are you blushing? He winked at me. No, I married you. Wait, what? I did not sign up for this. He's pink. Why do you like embarrassing me so much? I don't like Ennard. He's mean. I like him. I'm not going to lie. He'd be nice as a son-in-law for me. Okay, he's actually gone crazy. Dad! I'm sorry. I do want to know what he'd look like as a human. Probably ugly. We'll see about that. No! I can't say he's ugly, no! Your mother and siblings would like to see you. And if you've been watching us, then you probably know where they are. Actually, they moved somewhere else and I don't know where. Uh oh. Then how about we visit your friends? Or I can invite them over. Okay, I'll call them. I'm glad you boys were able to come today. We're always happy to come here, Mr. Afton. How are you? I'm doing better. I wanted you all to meet someone you miss dearly. Oh gosh, that awkward conversation. Hey ladies. Mm -hmm. You never change. You boys catch up. I'll be in my room if you need me. Oh, what? How did you get there? What? Is he, is he going crazy? He's going crazy. He's actually going crazy. A year later, and it does not look amused. I'm back. Now try out the disc I've installed in you. Oh no! Now to see if Mike still thinks Ennard is ugly. Ennard, I need you to do something for me. Oh gosh, what? What What are you whispering? This is not weird at all. I look two times better in this than my mum did. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Why are, you, why are you wearing that? I'll be looking tasty. All right then. Michael, why are you wearing your mother's school uniform? What is this gacha? I love it, it's funny. Because I look hot in this, okay? You sure do, darling. There's only one person I know who calls me that. Oh my gosh. Ennard? Ah. Oh, what on earth? Your dad told me you said I'd look ugly as a human. So, am I ugly? This is the weirdest ship and I, this is so random. Yes, very. Well, your cheeks are red. If you're not gonna stop teasing me like this then, I'll tease you too. Oh my God, now they're kissing. What is this gacha? Maybe this was a bad idea, but I can go to the store to escape this. I'm going to the store. Don't leave me alone with him. Dad. Now to wait it out. Oh, wait, Dad? Dad! Look at you, all grown up. Can you come over? There's a little surprise waiting for you. That doesn't sound weird at all. Mum, can we go? Sure. M Mikey? 
Yeah, so things were awkward and weird as it was, but now it's extra weird. Hey, Mr. Afton. Hello, Ellen. Can you wake up, Michael? Darling, look behind you. <gasps> what? Hello, my beautiful undead family. That's such a weird sentence to say. Also, Mum, tell Dad to eat. He hasn't eaten since like last week. Michael, shut up. William Afton. Oh, oh no. I think I'm going to be sick. Relax, it's not like you're going to die by eating. So why didn't you eat? I wasn't hungry. You and I both know that's a lie. Well, I'm just used to eating only once a week, which you should never do, by the way. Have your free meals a day. Care to explain why you only eat once a week? I don't know. After you and the kids left, I wasn't really able to eat or sleep. But we left years ago. So you've been living like this for years? I'm surprised I'm still alive, to be honest. Oh, huh? why are you crying? This is all because of me. Well, don't blame yourself. I did this to myself. Okay then. So are they back together or like what is going on? I'm sorry for leaving you. I regret it so much. Can we maybe try again? What? Okay, that's a thing. And they're all crying and smiling because they're like, oh my gosh, parents are getting back together. Stop being creeps. Oh, I wanted to ask, how long have you been dating my brother? Who knows at this point? We're not dating. Then why'd you call him darling? Because I like to embarrass him. And I like to tease him. Where did he go? Back to the pizzeria. He's the actual Funtime Ennard, isn't he? Just like how I'm Funtime Foxy, yeah! We went there so many times! But putting that aside, we need the perfect date outfit for your date tomorrow. Oh, uh, okay. Why is Ellie dragging Mike? She's choosing him an outfit. Why, he looks fine. Well, he has a date with Ennard tomorrow, because that's normal. About time? <laughs> what the heck? I look ugly, oh no! He's gonna run away the moment he sees me. Oh my gosh, darling! Ready to go. Uh-huh. You look nice. You too. So what exactly do we do on a date? Come on, I'll show you. I've run out of ideas, so bye. Oh no! <laughs> but legit, what do they do on a date? Movies and, and some chocolate and, and some popcorn. That sounds good to me. If you like this video, I've done some other videos that are very similar to this one that you might want to go have a look. There's definitely some Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, so go check it out. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel to stay notified. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye!